Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. In the last episode, we concluded our first war with Muscovoy. We grabbed Narva, Dorpat, Wendin, and we're working on coring them. As you can see, we're right up over here. We also grabbed Reykjavik right over here. And unfortunately, if we check our stability tab right here, if I want to core it, it is just a little too far away just a little bit too far now it says this province is 389 away from the closest unblockaded core province with a port so it is out of range of 325 now the problem is i don't know what those numbers mean so if you guys do know you let me know and i'm assuming because i just noticed i see a 325 down there and i see a 325 right here we're talking about colonial range so I'm either going to need to get that colonial range up or I'm going to need to grab something over here. But I won't be able to declare war on Sweden for a while because I do have a truce with them now. So that didn't work out quite as well as I had planned. A little bummed out. I was hoping for uh, I'll, I'll be able to core that and that would get me really close to Canada. But alas, I am new to the game. I do run into problems every once in a while. Uh, cleansing heresy cost a spell against Norway. I kind of like that actually. Oh, uh, something I want to mention, a viewer, Raska Blood informed me that with the trade idea group, for every merchant I have, I will grab, uh, get a force limit, a naval force limit of plus five. So at the end of this, I'll be able to raise up 15 more light ships to push trade around, which I am super excited about. So what do we got here? Let's send these guys to Novgorod, just like they were before. We're going to let our army hang out in Riga for the moment. That's a pretty good province. Uh, he is loyal to France. Okay, the papal controller is now French. Oh, and uh, it was uh, advised to me that I should check out my, pap uh, my um, papal points more often. And I actually am glad that that got uh, brought up because I could use 60 points to grab some legitimacy, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. I like being able to knock my legitimacy up that using papal influence. Oh! One more thing. Uh, let's get some diplomats to work. Let's go to the Papal States. And let's in, uh, influence them a little, not influence relations. Let's have some relations with the Papal States. Okay, Austria could be higher. Let's um, improve relations there as well. Alright, good. I think that takes care of everything everybody told me to do that I was missing. You know what I, I just realized? Um, I never got around to tr moving my trade port to Danzig, so maybe we'll do that this episode. That might be a good idea. I only need 54 more Diplo points to be able to push my, my main port, my main trading port to Danzig, which has been advised to me numerous times in this game is a good idea. But there's also, let's see, if we, if we save up and get Diplotech, that will increase our colonial range by 100, which will let me core, eh, eh, I got stuck there for a second, which will let me core Reykjavik. So, uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to save up for this right here. I'm going to save up the 521 power to get the colonial range. Oh, that makes me happy. I want to do that. I definitely want to do that. Now, we did lose a lot of men in that war with... Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Uh, as you guys know, if, you've, uh, if you're regular viewers, I record early in the morning, and my cat likes to go out on the patio, so I, just, I can hear her rustling around behind me. Oh, I don't even remember what I was talking about now. Oh, yeah, I was talking about the war. Uh, superior unit types. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, I'm so stupid. I just realized, just, just, just realized, I fought that entire war with Eastern Militia because I forgot to upgrade my troops. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wonder if any of you guys noticed that as well. Oh, fucking A. Fucking A. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That entire war I fought with Eastern Militia instead of Pike Infantry. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Well, lesson learned. Let's uh, let's lower the maintenance here. We don't need that to be cranked all the way up. Put our speed back up. Right now, we're really just waiting. We just need to 
I was about to say, we're really just waiting for coring, but it's more than that. We're really just waiting uh, for the, the, the dust to settle from that war. I have a second army. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. I have a an army of six men up here in Reykjavik. I'm actually just going to leave them there. I think it's, it's three and three. All right, that's fine by me. I thought it was uh, uh, four and two, but oh well. And it's stuff for casualties. You can convert provinces to your religion. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. These guys are probably orthodox. And are we actually... Oh, we have to core these places first, right? Or do we? I think we have to core them first. Uh, what ones are we talking about? Um, not there. Make core. Send missionary. Reykjavik. Okay, we can send a, a missionary to Reykjavik. Let's do that, yeah. It's not going to take any... My missionaries are powerful, powerful. Like, when I first started this game, it would, it would say, like, 160. And I'd be like, okay, I'll do that. And now it's 15, 16, 17, 13. Alright, uh, I don't think I'm going to have to worry about the unrest too much. Maybe in Reykjavik. Maybe. There's a lot of unrest there. Let's actually knock that down a bit. These ones are going to... I think I'll be able to take care of... You know, let's actually take care of that right now. It's been a while since I've had to change the autonomy. I can change culture. Some of these might be good to, to take care of. Because, like, Ruthenian, I'm probably going to... Like, actually, let's take a look at the culture map mode. Uh, is that it? Culture map mode. Lithuanian, Latvian. But look, at Ruthenian is, is a big section. Here's Polish, Prussian. Prussian's accepted, but look at it's all this rich land. It's all this rich, rich land. So I'm thinking about which ones to... Ruthenian, I'm going to leave... This is all... This is Latvian, but it's only one, two, three province, so Latvian will send. Oh, that's Diplo points. You know what? We're not going to do that right now. I don't want to spend the Diplo points right now. For the first time ever in this game, I'm like, okay, Diplo points, super important. Every other time, they've just been... Um, it's just been admin points or military points, and I'm... You know what? Oh, you know what I should do, though? Hmm. It's, um... Where is it? I don't even know where it is. Here we go. Right now, uh, admin points, admin power, is the max. It is what I'm, um, not max, it's the national focus. But, military power and diplo power right now are important. I think I might actually go diplo power right now. Hmm. Should I... I mean, military is just straight off the bat super important just because I need to be able to fight. I'm, I'm at military level 9. I think these are... They were 10. We have 11 over here. 12 in Brandenburg. Ooh, yeah, I'm falling behind there. So why don't we... Why don't we do that? Let's switch our national, uh, national focus to military. So now we're 778. The highest I've ever had my military power. I like it. I like it. I can deal with that. All right, good. Now we unfortunately, uh, with Nor improving relations with Norway, I have people in Norway. I don't even remember doing that. Rome, Austria. Oh, maybe they're doing that with me. Anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Now, what are we gonna do next? Fires of faith are strong, and people are inspired to spread it. Even now, people are flocking to join our missionaries as they seek to spread the faith. Those we seek to convert cannot help but be impressed by the zeal and faith that we inspire. Gain a stability. I'll take it. I completely forgot that I was on stability one for this long. Armies are backed up to strength. Our royal marriage with Austria ended. I should probably actually try to get that back. Yeah. Oh, and you know what else? Uh, let's... Integrate. Okay, so, this was, this was pointed out to me as well. I can use this influence tab right here. This guy right here, to integrate Lithuania into Poland. 
without forming the Commonwealth. And I think that's what I want to do. I know it sounds stupid, and maybe you, maybe I'll lose a viewer, or, or maybe I'll gain some viewers because it'll be more interesting. And you know, I don't like to do things the just because it'll make the game easy, just because it's the right tactical decision. I want to make this entertaining. That's why I'm doing this. Uh, I'm doing this. There, there's a couple reasons I like to make these videos. One's to entertain, and one's to kind of teach. That's why I play games that. I'm not very good at because the learning process can help other other people who are daunted by paradox games get into them in in a fun way. That's why I like playing these games that I'm not too great at. And I don't want to form the Commonwealth. I just feel like it'd just be a huge easy land grab, and it doesn't fit with what I want to do for the game. I want to play as Poland. I don't want to play as the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. I know it's stupid, but I'm going to stick with Poland. I'm not going to form the Commonwealth. I'm going to try to integrate Lithuania into Poland. Also, I'm going to fucking try for these goddamn Canadian colonies because it's really not that far off now. All you need is one more tech into, into Diplo, Diplo tech, and I'll be able to core this. That'll get me within range of Canada. I mean, like, I can see Greenland right here. Thoughts of heresy. God, this pops up a lot. Uh, uh, yeah, so that's Greenland right there. So I'm not that far off. I'll be able to, you know, hippity hop my way with colonies into Canada. And to do that, all I would need is, for my next idea group, we would just need to grab exploration. Or is it, or could I do it with expansion? I could do it with expansion as well, I think. Okay, so... If I do exploration, it'll allow me to recruit explorers and conquistadors, which would allow me to explore land for myself. If I do it the other way, I think I'll have to rely on other people to explore everything for me. Please pardon the cuts in this. Uh, uh, my allergies are driving me a little bit bonkers this morning. I do not want to have you guys listening to me blow my nose constantly. So there's a bunch of national decisions, and honestly, not very many of them I'm interested in. This will get me missionary strength. You know what, maybe, maybe I should. Tolerance of heretics, I don't care about if, if I tolerate them. I kind of want to rule with an iron fist here, so this would be... All right, so I don't want to do that one. National unrest, don't want to take national unrest, so... But I can take... I could take this one. That would get my mission, make my missionaries even more powerful. Legitimate, what do I need here? Have a legitimacy of 100. That's going to be difficulty. Go to be difficulty. Go. Oh my god. Hang on a sec. Uh, it's going to be difficult. Man, my missionaries are powerful now. Powerful, powerful people. All right, let's crank this up a little bit. Get 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 some time passing so we can actually do some stuff. Uh, we can mothball the fleet. It'll save us some money. We don't need them right now. Spent a lot of money upgrading these guys, but it was worth it. National institution, as of late, uh, more and more people are requesting representative national institution. Okay. Lose the stability or lose... Okay, we're going to take the stability hit. Orthodox zealots, they're probably over here somewhere. It's got to be these guys. Let's take a look at religion. Yeah. And we have enough for an idea. But unfortunately... Oh my god. You don't remember how I talk about my cat? Now she's pawing at the door wanting to go outside, so pardon me for one second. There you go, Dinah. Alright, what would you... We have finally managed to convert the heretics of Reykjavik. Heretics in Reykjavik are converted. Awesome. Now, uh, I, I originally grabbed trade ideas because I was like, I don't need... I'm not going to be, you know... No, Diplo power is never that, you know, in demand. Now I'm sitting here going, I need Diplo power. I need 300 for this. I need 500 for, for, for this over here, or, yeah, 500 for that over there, and it's 400 for these, 360 for these. Oh, man. Now, now I'm like, I need Diplo power. Almost got uh, military, that's good. Which will mean Eastern Hussars, yay, and better, better ca uh, artillery, cavalry and artillery, I like that. I am really enjoying this game. Like, I get up every morning and I'm like, I cannot wait to record. I cannot wait. Between this and CK2, oh my god, so much fun. 
opposes him. Okay, so let's take a look at this now. Uh, the Polak's in charge. This guy is a 324, not bad. The Polak is a 224, so this guy's actually a little bit better. So I might just let him stay in charge here. He is definitely better. Uh, a little bit of provincial unrest. What do we got popping up here? Oh, tech. Military tech. Grab it. Yep. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. We are military tech level 10. Love it. Now, before I forget, because I forgot last time, we're going to upgrade to Eastern Hussars. Love that. And let's see, we have... Um, Pedero? Relatively light cannons compared to culverins. Use stone balls as ammunition due to their uh, light weight in contrast to iron balls. Or we can do culverins. Uh, very long bar ba barreled cannons developed during the 16th and 17th centuries. They're renowned for their long range firing capabilities, but at the same time not very accurate in hitting their targets. So, they both have the same offensive fire, but the culverins have more shock. And, but these guys give you a little bit more defensive morale. So, I think I'm going to go with the Culvern. That's a little bit more, more damage is what I'm thinking out of that. Awesome. So, everybody is properly upgraded. Now, what is the next military tech going to do for us? 377, still pretty cheap. We're going to get barracks, nice. Uh, weapons manufactory. This will only be valid in pro uh, provinces producing copper and iron. So that's like the that big green farm thing. Combat with a plus two cavalry and infantry uh, shock. Awesome. Very good, very good. Now, admin. That's going to give us fine arts academy. Stability cost modifier minus 5%. That's pretty good. We're, we're catching up. These were like minus 20% before. Oh, Sweden's got hair. Uh, rebels. Love that. I'm only one tech behind Sweden in terms of military now. Oh, wow. Uh, I didn't see that coming. And we have a new king. Uh, Michael II von Habsburg. He's a 324. We Let's get another royal marriage going. Uh, and actually, let's spend a little bit of... A little bit of admin power here. 55. Let's, let's boost that to just one. Look at my national honor, elective monarchy, witchcraft act. Um, that's a, a Stanislaw is one of our, what's it called, advisors. Uh, legitimacy, positive stability. It's just we have tons of negative. Our national unrest is low. Love that. Okay, rebel uprising, Orthodox zealots. That we that should be taken care of when, when this happens. Okay, apply with their policies. Great. Uh, technology cost. ID. Oh, god damn it. Mm, fuck. I, uh, I just wasted 10% 10, 10 of that. Well, it was only like 30-something military power I just wasted, but I did waste some military power just now. Damn it. Ah, uh, damn. Oh, well. Not, I couldn't have seen that coming. There's no way I could have seen that coming. Religious uh, reform desire, papal influence. We're doing good. As soon as these core will be able to convert them, I'm not worried about the Orthodox Zealots. I mean, 3.8 years, this will be done much sooner than that. Yeah, that'll be done this year. Awesome. Anything else I want to do? Declaration of Indulgence Act? What is that? Oh, that was the Stability Cost Modifier. I really don't want to take this. I really don't want to. I do not want to take it. Gotta be getting close. Yeah, we're getting close here. This will actually put me right back up to the rest of the world in terms of tech levels with um, with admin technology. I need to get up to that fourteen because I need I need to do I need to do either this one and let's see expansion merchants settler increase recruitment time diplo relations shipbuilding time. Global trade power of 20%. That's pretty big. Permanent cost of spell against less advanced non-pagan nations in Asia and Africa. Or exploration, which would get me a colonist. Explorers and conquistadors. Colonial range of plus 
uh, global settler increase, so I would be able to form my colonies quicker. Global tariffs, another colonist, force limit modifier for my navy, and permanent cost of spell against pagans. But this one is an admin, and this one would be doubling up on Diplo ideas. Hmm. Interesting. For the first time, like I said, for the first time, Diplo power is becoming very important to me. I'm kind of glad I'm trying to sprint ahead with my military tech, though. I need to get... I can't believe I messed that up. I can't believe I was fighting with the wrong type of infantry. Thoughts of heresy. Fuck you. Again? They do not want me to have money. Okay, maybe I should do is take a look at some construction now. I can do more of these. I can build these left and right, but it's really not that much. It's, it's a little bit, but it's not that much. Embassy. I still haven't built the embassy. I built the march in Warsaw. Wait, did I build the embassy, or am I just poor? No, I didn't build the embassy. I could be building more forts. E. I like that idea. Local trade power. Oh, oh, God, I was about to say, weren't the, didn't I completely build these everywhere? No, it's these areas over here. Uh, courthouse, local unrest. That's probably a good thing. Can't build over here, though. Spy agency, training fields. That's more manpower. Now, why can't... Do, are they already built here? Needs an armory built first. Okay. I was about to say, I can't... I, there's no way I already did that. Wendin, okay, Dor Wendin, Dorpat, Narva, now part of our realm. Nice. Now, how do these guys feel about me? All right, that helped a little bit. I might need to boost my stability, just to get make sure it doesn't. Let's let's uh let's do it. Let's boost the stability. All right, that helped a lot. Now, Estonian. Oh wait, what we're gonna do first is missionaries. Twelve months. It'll take only one year. It'll only take one year to convert these areas. And we're gonna do all of them. Do I only, do I have two or three? Two. Okay, we have two. I forgot. All right, so we're gonna get that going. Those are gonna go really fast. Hopefully these guys won't do anything stupid in the meantime. Oh no, that really pissed them off. Shame. All right, so they're probably going to rebel at some point. So just gonna have to accept it. Uh, let's go here. Let's crank this up. And they are... Let's move my guys to Dorpat. We're just gonna leave the army right there. Wait, no, 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 get out of there. <laughs> no. <laughs> Low supply. Um, let's just leave them in Raga for now. They're, they're, they're in the region. At least, they're in the region, that's good. I don't want to take attrition. Shrewd commerce practices. Now, if I uh, if I will say say if I dump if I dump the points into this right now, that would get me the regiment cost decrease, which I like. But again, gotta. Hmm, what is the most important thing right now? Moving my trade port, getting that uh, that next tech. Right now, I'm thinking getting the next tech. Naval force limit of plus one. Trade value modifier of 25% and local trade... Oh my god, canals. I like the idea of canals. I think I'm going to save it up for the tech, because we're almost there. We are definitely almost there. Now, this is probably going to hit. I'm probably going to have to deal with this. These will be finished bef just barely before the average chance to hit here. If I get unlucky... If I get lucky, these will finish first. That's what I want to say. If I get lucky. And look at Hungary. Look at how much, how many heretics. Old believer heretics. Pentecostal heretics. There's just heretics galore. What the hell is this? Hear ye, hear ye. Let loose uh, Pentalone, Harlequin, and all the other stock characters of the traditional community of the heart. Are you unsweet popular and watch this to understand the antics of the shenanigans? I like the word shenanigans. A good piece of comedy can make anyone forget for a while that their everyday lives are wasted away laboring under the yokes. Proved relations. Okay. 
Uh, plus it's fun. Okay, what do we got? Under the yokes of tyr tyrannical rulers, plus it's fun. Make it happen. Lose 10 admin points, lose some ducats, and gain prestige for the next four years. Or lose prestige. That's only 10 admin points. The Evangelical Union? Bohemia has joined the Protestant League. Ooh, Protestant League, I don't like the sound of that. Look at Protestant, look at, look at it spreading, wow. Wait, what's going on here, is that mine? No, that's not mine, I was about to say, is that mine? No, that's not mine. My border goes right there. Ah, here we go, let's grab this. Yes, we are going to take that. Cilicia joined the Catholic League. Interesting, I didn't know there was a Catholic League. How do, can I join the Catholic League? How, how do we get all leaguey? Is there something about the league in here? Is it... This is... Is this Alicia? I'm looking... I'm just looking around and I was like, can I join this Catholic league? Ah, screw you, Sweden. I'm going to... Fi I'm going to be fighting these guys for a while, I feel. But I'm fine with that. They're they're a good enemy. I like having them as my enemy. Oh, what happened here? Norwegian revolutionaries. Okay. So now we should be able to core this, right? Arctic. <laughs> um. So if we go manage, yeah, we can. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now that would mean if someone else explored this land for me, I I would be able to go over there, right? But no, I need colonists for... I do need to have that colon... So no matter what, I'm going to need colonists. Oh, you know what else I should probably do? Is take a look at that cons that construction I opened up. That, that Those canals. What do I need first? Trade depot. That See, that can those canals can do a pretty... Pretty nice little benefit there. I approve of that. Okay, now, before when my country was smaller, it was easy to just spam build everything, but now I'm like, eh. Tax income of an extra percentage. Huh. It's military power that's admin, local production efficiency. Yeah, I built these everywhere, and, and like, some of these, uh, that's actually a, that's a decent boost right there. Let's build that there. Constable. Marketplace. Built those everywhere. What does the marketplace do? Trade power. Okay, that just increases trade. It's just a blanket increase to trade power. Star forts. I feel like these could be important, though. Especially in certain areas. Supply limit and fort level. Like, crack how they always hit. Oh, wait, fuck. Sweden is my new rival. I'm fine with that. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Is I wanted to get these guys on my side. Ooh, and we're almost at the end of this episode, too. Let's, um... Relations, improve relations. There, set to get that started. Lithuania. Um, influence. Let's try to start the processing of integrating your union member. Let's see, what is this going to do? I'm going to convert the heretics of Narva. Excellent. Do you wish to demand Lithuania be absorbed in your country? Integration is estimated to be done by 1583. So it would take 33 years to do. Okay. Base, same religion, diplomatic re uh, reputation. Okay, I could start doing this and start absorbing Lithuania. I actually think I'm going to leave that to the next episode, though. So, everyone, if you've enjoyed this, just drop me a like. Leave me a comment right down below. And if you are interested in more Benjamin Magnus Plays, Europa Universalis 4, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.